Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig. Kurt Hennig was a legendary performer. His 1988 Mr. Perfect gimmick is still remembered fondly today, made all the more special as Hennig told everyone how good he was and then backed it up. Going undefeated on TV for over a year, a run that must have kept Hogan up at nights, Perfect teamed up with manager The Genius to set their eyes on the biggest prize in the game. Incredibly, The Genius actually defeated Hogan by countout before he and Perfect destroyed Hulk's championship. This would set up a face-off as the two found themselves as the last competitor in the 1990 Royal Rumble. Hogan tossed Perfect out that night, which led to Hennig facing Brutus Beefcake at WrestleMania 6. Hang on, what? He gets thrown over the top rope in January and then loses to Hogan's mate in April. Turns out the Hulkster never even considered Perfect a worthy contender for his title, let alone someone he would feud with. Hulk took on giant heels, not incredible workers who had the audacity of being small. I had a contract where I had creative control. I used to have two monitors in my dressing room, and I'd see what their segments were and who was in their segments and I would actually switch segments around and change matches and we were rewriting the shows last minute you know guerrilla warfare that was terrible that was bad that was awful. <clears throat> that was absolutely awful. That that's horrible. You're totally cheating the fans. They're not out there. They're not paying to see that. That's, to me, that's ridiculous. You chest poke a guy that's six foot eight, 300 pounds, and he just falls like that. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, if I were to sit there and watch that and see Kevin Nash, which is legit seven foot tall, 300 something pounds, and pretty jacked, and Hogan poke somebody and they fall down, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say beep. <laughs> oh yeah, bullshit.